I got five little ones. And it is what the... You come down here and didn't bring me a margarita. Ooh. I'm not... Not doing no interviews. Hey, I was waiting. I was waiting. I was trying to wait, man. Hey, you see you, man. Good luck tomorrow. What's up, bro? This is miserable. Miserable? There's no clean water anywhere. That wind's blowing. No clean water. There's no bass. Like, it's terrible. <laughs> the weights are definitely low. Dude, it's horrible. I only had six bites. All day? All day. Seven if you count my mudfish. You want a water bus? Christ. That's brutal. It's terrible. It's terrible. Huh? Why don't you come to where's my deer sausage? Huh? Oh, I forgot your deer sausage. I bought back to that group and steak. <laughs> hey. What's my big guy? Hey bud. No gas money for him. <laughs> <laughs> no gas money. Okay, Whatever money you're gonna give him, you need to give to me so I can buy deer sausage. Yeah, we brought two whole deer down here and gave it to damn uh, Sherman up there to damn at the shop. Who's Sherman? I mean, uh, mine. Oh. Here, 16 years old. Yes, sir. What's your name? Alex Bradley. Alex Bradley? Yes, sir. How was it today? It was it was tough. I mean, got a few bites here and there, but it's just changed a lot this week. Cold front hurt them bad. You slowed the bite down a little bit. Oh, yeah. What were you throwing? I was throwing a little uh, 1 16 hey, not, not, too, not too loud. Let's not get too. close. I was throwing a 1 16 ounce weight with a little swim bait on it. That ice. ice. Y'all stay tuned, man. Young Bradley, any Instagram handles or anything? Uh, Alex underscore Bradley05. There you go. Y'all go check him out, man. Lied, by the way. He totally lied, by the way. You ain't get a shower. You don't get one now. He got a five pounder in there. Bradley's lying, bro. <laughs> 22 to 8. You can get him on camera. <laughs> Uh-uh. He said, he said, I don't want to talk, MCA, because... I caught 10 pounds. Don't get me on. You can get him on camera. Uh-uh. He, he said, I don't want to talk, MCA, because... I caught 10 pounds. The, bro, everybody. I caught 10 pounds. See, I got 11.3 for him. When I weighed in, I was at 17. 11. That ain't right. That ain't right. That ain't, that ain't how it's supposed to go out here. But, but. but true or false, it's a lot of low weights. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one absolutely. bag over 20 yeah. right now. So. Just one bag. Everything else goes down to like 15, 16. Yep. Top 60s probably yeah, going to be 12 pounds, 10, 11 pounds. Hey, you're not out with 11 pounds right now, bro. No, you're you not catch, out. You catch 20, you caught 10 today and 20 you tomorrow. You tomorrow, you're in the you'll game. You'll fish Saturday. You'll yeah. fish Saturday, bro. Always got the cheering section out there. He's out of right here in Coastal, Florida, bringing five bass. Look at this smile. Look at this guy. Man, look out there. Five in the bag. He's earned over six hundred thirty thousand dollars. His major league fishing career limit a bass on day one, eight pounds, four ounces. Can you hang on to that. But let the wind blow it. What's your name? You, you want to talk, aren't you? What's your name? I will. All right, buddy. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll do it again. MCA. We here. What's going on, man? We got Lake Howard here. Yes, sir. Let's talk about it, bro. Oh my goodness. How'd you get started? Well, my dad is a uh, professional in the BPT tour. Um, Randy Howe is my dad, but so I've always been, you know, growing up fishing and stuff with him. So got into it uh, a few years ago, started out BFLs and now I'm fishing Toyotas. That's awesome, bro. Yeah, man. It's, it's been fun. awesome. I love this. So so tell me, bro, like, like, so like, I'm one of the guys that, and I know it's a lot of young guys that are looking to, to make that initial step. Yeah, man. Uh, what's that process? Well, what was that process like for you? It was really just taking the jump, dude. Just biting the bullet and fishing the first tournament. Fish the first one. If you do good enough to make a check, then use that check to pay for the next one. That's how you do it. Yeah, man. Real simple. <laughs> it sounds simple that it is. <laughs> right now, sitting in fifth place. Yeah. Um, the weights are extremely down. 
uh, feeling real good going into day two. I, I, I mean, I know you're at least comfortable. I hope you're not so. like in a in a in an extreme panic right now. Not yet. Uh, <laughs> but going into day two, man, just you know, what's your thoughts and not as to like what you're doing necessarily, but yeah. like you know, like the 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 positive you know energy going into to to day two because of what you've already currently accomplished you know um i'll be honest i pulled up into a spot this morning and that i'd only caught bucks out of just trying to get a limit and females have moved up so if they're moving into my area that'd be awesome so hopefully i can get lucky again like i did today but you never know i guess we'll see tomorrow there you go just got to Cast and wine see what happens one fish at a time man we're right here on lake okeechobee man it's the toyota series <laughs> uh, one of the biggest events. I, I I I will be prepared for next year. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm super excited about that in advance, man. Uh, I know y'all watching already know that. Uh, but next year we are gonna make sure we on that side of the field. Yeah, we're on dude. that side of the field, man. But yo, bro, nice to meet you, bro. Thank, Thank you for you too, uh, taking the time out just to step in and you know give uh, some feedback to the viewers on the channel, man. What's your social media? What's your what's your how can people? Um, my Instagram is Laker Howl Fishing, Facebook's Laker Howl Fishing, Twitter, and uh, all the above. I'm starting a YouTube channel too, so maybe, <laughs> maybe soon. Get it going. Yeah, get man. it going. All right, bro. Hey, I appreciate it. We'll see you. B. Yo. Let's talk about it, bro. What a Toyota Series second stop after. Sam Rabin right here on the Great Lake Okeechobee. Well, it does seem so great right now, though. But it's, I mean, the lake looks good. But it's gonna pick up a little bit, I think, for sure. The weather, the the, the you don't think the temperature? You, you just think it's too much no. right now? I just think there's too much, too many boats. Too much, too much going on. I mean, there's only what eight, nine places that they get caught day in and day out here anyway. Facts. So that is very true. You put, you put. <laughs> You put 270, 280 boats, whatever, whatever the final number was that we had this week. Um, man, it's just, it's just a lot. You can't hardly, can't hardly wind anything. You know, you can't hardly swim a jig or throw a chatterbait. There's so much chopped up floating grass, um, <clears throat> which for a flipper like me, it, it isn't a bad thing, but it, there's so much new stuff to where Monday in practice, you had this much of a mat, you know, off the reeds, and then now it's it's 15 yards, um, just due to all the boat traffic. Um, you know, the tournament guys just just churning it up. Um, it's crowded. I mean, everywhere you go, it's crowded. Guys running in, running out of places that have what few areas we have of good grass and, and clean water. It's 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 getting dirty not from the wind it was a gorgeous day it, it's yeah, just it's due to all the boats all the they run in they, they troll run out on, they troll around on 100 and then they run out um so it's it's it's, just, it's, it's making good. it very difficult to to get some bites this week um which obviously shows in the weights because the weights are extremely bad and lake okeechobee has been definitely producing like like yeah, like like for sure 10 at least 20 pound bags so yeah, you know it got to be the the amount of pressure that it's it, it, that it had had. That it's it, definitely the amount of pressure. I mean right. that, that's that's the only thing. I mean the cold yeah. front didn't didn't help didn't hurt anything. It probably, truth in the matter, it probably helped the overall weigh in today by it being cold. So that two hundred and we'll just say two hundred eighty for round numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two hundred eighty boats didn't have a chance to rape them for three, four, or five days since they got down here. See, if they were biting, it would have been, it may have even been worse. Yeah, it might You know, because yeah. um, <clears throat> at That's the end wild. of the day, there's only so many places to go, and <laughs> there's only so many bass to be caught. And I think the number of tournament anglers far exceeded <laughs> <laughs> the, the fire hazard. <laughs> hey, look. Well, it's just, uh, overall, it's just miserable. It's tough. It, it's miserably tough. Like, I've never seen it this tough. Yeah. Never. Never seen it this time. Well, I mean, I mean, but to its to its fault, like it has gotten extremely beat up in the last four days. Yeah. 
So, so it, I mean, we gotta yeah. definitely take that in consideration. But it, it's, it's, I mean, just looking at the weights, it sucks. It, yeah. it definitely, it's terrible. And to be in your position right now in the tournament, like it, it de and knowing the lake too, like it's, it's. I know it got to be difficult for you too, because at the end of the day, the cool thing is, is that still, either way, bro, you still two fish out. Yeah, absolutely. That I mean, could happen at any flip. Like absolutely. Any flip. That's the best part about. That's one of the cool things I love about flipping is flipping always gives you that opportunity to catch that big in at any yeah. given flip. For sure. Like, I love that. I love those percentages, like those For chances. Sure. Uh, then yep. Come on. get this boat on the charger and get yeah. ready for day two. When you catch eight pounds, you don't have to retire a whole lot. <laughs> so there is a plus. And Domino's is on its way and... <laughs> The evening is looking brighter and brighter. Shout out Domino's, man. Hey,